Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I am going to discuss do loop. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you want to learn SAS from me, you can email me or you can WhatsApp me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys, if you are preparing for SAS interview, you can contact me for an interview session and I'll help you clear the SAS interview. Let's move on to the next slide. Okay guys, so this is the requirement. So this is the premium data. So this is input data. We have customer ID, start period, end period and premium. So customer ID is 101102103. I keep it very small so that you can understand it easily. So start period is from January 1st to 2022 to 31st December 2022. Premium is $2,000. And what I want, the biggest start period and end period we have, we mentioned each month customer is paying $2,000 as a premium. So what I want, I want this to be distributed month wise. So I want all 12 rows for all 12 months. So here you will see for 101 ID till here. We have start premium from January, February, March, April until December and end premium is end of that particular month. So January 1, 2022, 31st January 2022. So till 31st December 2022 and premium is 2000. So it's repeating with every row. So this person has paid 12 times premium of 2000 from January to December. So this is the input data. This is the row and what I want this should be show like this. These rows should be added into the output data set. Then for 102 again 12 the period is same. So you need to generate similar to what we have generated for 101 ID. So I didn't mention all the output because size was, would become big and it's difficult for me to add the screenshot of that big. But you can understand that I want 12, 12, 12, three times. So 36 rows for each for all these three IDs. So 12 for each. How we will add this? Let's see the solution. So first we will read the input data. So I just use the data lines to read the data. This is called in stream data. So I'm creating data premium and then input and then giving the variable as per the data I have entered here. So 101 is the customer ID, then the start period, 1st January 2022. If you see the format, this is a date nine. So I gave the date nine, then end period. This is again date nine and that the premium last one is the premium. So 2000. Now you must be wondering why I gave the colon. So this is a deep concept, but I'll try to explain here. Briefly, see in SAS, we have two types of variables. One is character and second one is numeric. So now you will see here, we are reading date because this has a character also numeric. So we are not reading it as a character or text values. We are reading at it as a date and date means it is a numeric variable. So size of the numeric, we can give only eight. In SAS, it's fixed. The maximum size you can give for a numeric variable that is fixed as eight. So if you count here, we have number of how many number of character or digits? These are nine. That's why we gave date nine. So you count two, three, five and four, nine. But in numeric, we can give only eight. So that's the problem. So when since this is a date nine, so we will tell the SAS, OK, read everything till the next delimiter. So delimiter means space. So from here to here, the next space, we have these number of character or values. So SAS would read all these and then SAS would check, okay, it's a date nine. So it will convert into date. Once it is, it will convert it into date. That means dates are number of days from 1st January 1960. So number of days would be in thousands. So when we mention thousands, so SAS can handle eight dot can handle 16 digits in one go. Even Microsoft Excel can handle only 16. So if you try to add 17th digit in Microsoft Excel also, it will replace the last digit with zero. So it will handle it easily. So it will read nine values here with the help of colon and date will convert it into the date. 
and then once it is converted into date that these values would be numeric and numeric values a dot can handle 16 digits so that's why i gave the colon i hope i am able to explain this okay so the next thing is i am telling the says that okay while writing these these values write it into start period and end period as mmddyy10 so if you see the output data this is showing like this so dates are showing this way however we reading in date 9 format and writing in mmddyy10 dot so we are able to read the input data set so we have created premium data set and we will use this data set to solve this problem let's move on to the next slide okay so this is the input data set we read in previous slide now what we will be doing we will be generating one row per month for each customer for 101 period is from january to december so 12 months so we need to generate 12 rows for this particular customer how we will do let's understand this program so I am creating data premium ORPM. ORPM means I am giving a meaningful name. That means premium data set one row per month. One row per month ORPM. Then I am dropping few variables that are not required because I am creating a new variable for start period and end period. Then I am using a length statement. So length statement is just for ordering the variable. So customer ID should show first, start premium, new variable I'm creating should show second, and end premium should show third in output data set. So that's why I give. It's not mandatory. If you do not want to give, you can omit this line. Next, set statement. So we're using set premium. So reading this data set, that is premium data set. And then I'm giving a do loop, then start premium I'm creating and premium and then applying a format to output data set, then output and and run. Okay, let's understand this by reading one observation at a time. So I'm using set. So this will read first observation, this one, 101. And here the do loop. So, so this will read the first observation and it will go into PDV. So this one will go in program data vector and it will sit there. Okay, now here I'm running a loop from I. I'm extracting the month from the start period. Start period is 01-01-2022. That means January. So it will give you the month. That means one for January and the end period. It's a 31st December. So it will give us month and that would be 12. So our loop will run from 1 to 12. That means it will run for 12 times. So when we read this first observation we run, it will run for 12 times for first observation. For second, it will run for 12 times. Third, it will run for 12 times based on this start and end period. Now we'll see what is what, what is happening here. So I'm using start premium, creating a variable start premium using intnx function. So intnx function is used to add interval to a date. So increment a date or decrement a date. So if you want to increment a date based on the interval, then you will need to give the interval. Here we want to increment the date based on the month because we want to create 12 months of rows for each customer. So INTNX, I gave an interval as month. Then start period. Start period is 1 1 2022. Next, I am just doing I minus 1. So adding how much interval you want to add one month two months three months so you need to give here so i gave here i minus one so i value is one so i am giving one minus one what will happen it will be a zero so i am telling sas that add zero so it will not increment because if we give one then it will increment to one month if we give minus one, it will decrement one month, but we are saying zero. That means do not increment, do not decrement. That means it will be the same month would be the same. Now, next thing we are using one option that is called B. B means beginning. So we are saying says that, okay, for that current month, whatever month in the date, whatever date it is, just pick the first day of that particular month as a date. So first, date of January month would be 1 1 2022. So it will pick it and assign this in start premium. So for this 101, it will be 
1st January 2022 as start premium. Now end premium. Everything is same. Only we are changing here E. E means end of the month. So pick the end of the month for start period. So start period was 1-1-2022 and we are picking the end date. So end would be for January month. That would be 31st January 2022. So we have created two variables start premium and premium. Start premium for January month is 1st January 2022 and premium is 31st January 2022. The next statement I am using format. So I'm applying format so that we can understand. Otherwise it will show you the numeric values, numeric days or number of days from 1st January 1960. So start premium and premium I am giving a format date 9. And for the premium that is the amount I am giving a dollar. So it will show the dollar. Now next statement I am giving output. So I gave the output statement. So it will write all the information. These whatever in the PDV 101 this 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 till here along with this what we have generated. Into the output data. Then end. OK, so it will not go to here because loop is still running. So it will not go at the top length no or set state. It will just go from here to do here. Now it will increase the value of 1 to 2. So I'll just erase this and this explain this again. OK, here now the value of i is 2. So condition is 2 to 12. So still condition is true. Loop can run less than or equal to 12. Here now if we start premium month. What is the start period? Start period is 1st January 2022. Now value of i is 2. So I am just using 2 minus 1 equal 1. So 1st January 2022 is the start period and we are adding one month because here it's this time it's not zero it is one. So we are adding one. So if we add one one month to the date then it will become February and we are saying says OK just go to the start of the month start of the month February month start is 1st February 2022. So it will be 1st February 2022 will be assigned here and premium variable so everything is same only we are changing here is the e e means end of that month so end of february month would be 28 february 2022 now this format would apply and output statement will write the row for the february month into the output data set so so far we have written two observations 101 for january 101 for February in output data set. So now the value of i would become 3. 3 is still less than 12. So here if you minus this 3 minus 1 equal to 2. That means if we add 2 months to your start date 1st January 2022 it will become March and B means beginning of the March. So it will pick 1st March 2022 for end premium everything is same we are just changing the e means end so it will pick 31st march 2022 and the output statement will write this to the output data set so we we are able to write the three rows into output data set for this 101 customer now the value of i would become 4 here 4 minus 1 would become 3 now in start date if we add 3 then January we will add 3. OK, it will become April. So beginning of the April 1st April 2020. And end premium everything is same. Only the option E we are using. So it will give the end of the April month. So it will be 30th April 2022. So so on it will go till 12. So it will generate 12 months. What will happen if we use 13 if we reach to the 13 it will write 12 observation till here. OK 12 times. We are done and here the value would become I will I would become 13. 
So if you see here, a value of i is 13 and the condition is 12. So 13 is not less than 12 or equal to 12. That means condition is false. So we will be out of the loop. So we'll out from here and from here, since do loop has run completely for first customer ID, it will move to run from here because not all the observations are read from the set from premium data set. So it will go back to up here. It will read the next observation that would be 102. So now this loop will again run 102. What is the period? This time this is in the PDV second observation. So the loop will run for 12 times for this 102. Once this is done, the loop will run for 12 times for this one. So now you can see loop will run for 36 times and it will add 36 observation to this output data set. I hope this is clear. Let's see the output. So output would be generated like this customer ID. If you see till 12. Start premium. And premium and then premium I just formatted as dollar. So if you see go back and see the previous one. So start period and period. I drop this start period and end period. I'm not keeping this into final output data set and I variable also. Instead of these, I am using this start premium and end premium. So we see here start premium and premium. So these are the dates. And now you can see it is showing month wise premium paid by the customer. So 101 customer has paid premium 12 times. So January, February, March, April till December 2000 every month. So this was the requirement and we are able to solve it and I hope now you have more understanding over do loop and how important is the do loop and it can give you very wonderful results. Let's move on to the next slide. All right guys. So that's it in the session. If you like my video, please do subscribe and also please mention in the comment section if you like this video or what is your suggestion so that I can provide an improvement. Okay guys, thank you so much. We will meet into the next session. Bye and take care.